What's up guys, it's the Turtle Dork back again. Here is another uh, trailer that just dropped, which is the new trailer from Sony Illumination, Illumination Studios uh, with Despicable Me 3. Now, I have to tell you guys, I adore the first Despicable Me movie. I That movie kind of flew under the radar. I mean, it, it was something that was kind of different than what we were normally getting with a lot of animated films, um, focusing on uh, the villain, um, and just and it had a lot of heart uh, at the core of that story with uh, Gru and the three girls uh, that he ultimately adopts and raises. Um, there's a lot of heart and charm, and then of course the score by Pharrell is so catchy. Um, I just, I really took to that film. I love that movie. Um, the second one wasn't as good, so I'm interested to see what this one has to offer. Um, the Minions, you know, take it or leave it, you know, but we'll see. Let's see how much they actually use them in this. All right, let's check it out. Get down, turn around, show me what you got. You a pow, pow, chuck a knot, take it up a notch. Oh my God, wow, take a out. Let me take a shot. I'm going to sit down, get a drink, let you work it out. Step back. <laughs> <laughs> Universal. That's <laughs> only. <laughs> Sorry. Heist music. Oh, Trey Park. Wait, that's not a monster. That's a man wearing shoulder pads. There's only one supervillain whose fashion sense is quite that dated. Balthazar Brat. I want every agent on the scene immediately. Yeah, we got a ball spot. are closing fast. Wait, what? Definitely embracing the 80s. Brucey, you know, Gru and Lucy mushed together. Brucey. Oh, I like it, but not a lot. I don't like it. Wow. He's getting away! That's what he thinks! Get ready! Get ready for the like it could be kind of cute kind of fun um i mean the whole trailer i was like oh okay you're gonna do a trailer without actually showing uh, the minions i was like that's pretty bold that's pretty brave um you know considering the fact that you know the minions sell a lot um so putting them in the movie but of course they ultimately put them in towards the end of it i don't know it's got a pretty uh it's, it's got a nice feel to it it definitely feels like despicable me um, Steve Carell is great as Gru, and you definitely see that on display in this trailer. Um, that villain, Baltazar, uh, voiced by Trey Parker, it seems like a villain caught in the 80s, which could be kind of, uh, uh, you know, kind of fun. Um, you know, me being the child of the 80s is always kind of cool to see, you know, certain uh, aesthetics from that, you know, whether it's the Rubik's Cube or uh, shoulder pads. <laughs> but... Um, I always, I always kind of liked these movies. Like I said, the first movie is great. Um, second movie is kind of unremarkable. I only re don't even really remember it. Um, I have to try to go back and rewatch that. And the Minion spinoff movie, it didn't really stand out that much to me. But um, 
you know, like I said, I mean, ultimately it's for the kids and it's to really, you know, kind of, you know, sell merchandising at the end of the day. But, um, you know, ultimately they, if they can also make a good film, that's, that's good as well. But, um, I'll wait for a second trailer. Um, this felt more like an announcement trailer because, it, uh, again, how I said with the, uh, the Mummy trailer, um, how they had kind of have it as like an extended scene. That's more so what this was to just kind of give you the tone and the feel and reintroduce you to these characters that we kind of know and love. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, like I said, I like it, but I'll wait and see a second trailer. So yeah, guys, go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you thought of this trailer, Despicable Me 3. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and check out my other dorks, at Sidewalk Siren, at Mouth Dork, and at The Disco Dork. And for me, I am The Turtle Dork. And with that, I am out.